want to talk a little bit today about the natural pointing ability that all humans have. The relationship between our hands, our eyes, and objects around us. This comes from our kinesthetic awareness, our knowing where our bodies are in space. Uh, a lot of times folks will think, you know, how is it that you can reach behind your back and touch something on your back without seeing it? That's because you have a very strong sense of where your body is in relation to itself in space. This is where intuitive shooting really comes into play. You have a sense of where your hand is holding the frame in relation to where your pouch is holding the ammo in relation to what you're looking at. And when all three of those elements come together, it's an intuitive shot. So some things to pay attention to for the intuitive shooter. Doing it the same way every time. Now this goes across the board for any style of shooting, but especially an intuitive shooter. If an intuitive shooter changes their draw or their release just the slightest amount, it's going to change their point of impact. And in doing so, because you're an intuitive shooter, you aren't aiming, you aren't using a third, third sighting mechanism, then it's, it gets very difficult to determine where the inaccuracy is coming from. So it's key to always draw to the same spot, always hold your frame the same way, and ideally shoot the same frame, same bands, and same ammo. Because what you're trying to do is ingrain in your uh, mind-body awareness where everything is in space. So if your bands shoot the same way every time at 10 yards with the same ammo, you're going to start to recognize intuitively where the ammo is going to go. So if you're holding the slingshot the same way every time, releasing it the same way every time, the ammo should go the same place every time. Intuitive shooting is not for everyone. It is something that you have to practice a lot, but it's very handy for the hunter. It's very handy for the person that likes to shoot uh, things on the wing. And it's also a lot of fun because when you're in an intuitive groove, when you've really got yourself zoned in, there is no better feeling. And I think that's what keeps us all coming back shooting slingshots, whether we aim or whether we're intuitive shooters, is that ability of when we're zoned in, when we're hitting the target. So intuitive shooting, pay attention to where your body is in space, do it the same way every time. This applies across the board, but most especially with intuitive shooters. Another thing you might want to pay attention to is understanding your eye dominance. I am right eye dominant, but I shoot opposite handed. I've learned to compensate for this. There's a lot of shooters out there that have. There's no wrong hand to hold your slingshot in. If you're an aimer, it very well may help you to shoot in accordance with your eye dominance. If you're an intuitive shooter, I don't think it matters as much. Just my opinion. I've learned to compensate. I can shoot both ways, but I prefer to shoot holding in my right hand, although I am a right eye dominant shooter. The bands are lining up underneath my left eye, which is not my dominant eye. But like I say, I'm shooting the same way every time. My mind, my body, has learned to compensate for where the ammo is going to go. I shoot the same bands, I try to shoot the same ammo on the same frame. Intuitive shooting. Just keep it simple. That's what slingshot shooting is all about anyhow. Have fun guys.